many retailers conduct a cycle count either once a year or at regular intervals. Hot Wax Commerce provides an easy to use application for the retailers to perform the inventory count without going through the hassle of making lengthy entries manually in a spreadsheet. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use our inventory count app for a hassle-free experience. Let us start with logging into the application of inventory count from our launchpad. We'll go to the inventory section and click on cycle count. We'll log into the inventory count app from our uh, credentials. We come to the search page. Now we go to the settings page and we select the store. For like this, I have selected central warehouse. We go back to the search page again. Here you will see an option to scan the products where you can scan the barcode of a product for easy search. We click on scan and we scan the barcode. Here you will see the search product appears. We will se select the selected variant and we go to this page where the details of the variant are vis visible. Here we can double check if we have selected the correct variant. You can now enter the available stock for the selected product. This is the total quantity in hand for the product and it will override the stock available in hot wax when it is approved from the hot wax commerce OMS. For example, I have 100 quantity. We click on done. Now you will select the location of the stock in your warehouse and click on save. You confirm the location once and we click on save. Here you will see a message which says that inventory has been uploaded. Once you have put in stock for all the products, one by one through scanning the barcode of the product, you will go to the upload screen and click on the cloud to upload it in hot wax. For now, we can only see one product because I've scanned one, but you will see the list of products that you have updated stock for. Now you'll see a message that inventory has been uploaded into hot wax. Now we'll log into our hot wax commerce OMS with our credentials. And we go to the left hamburger menu and click on reconcile inventory. Here you will see the list of products for which you have updated stock from the inventory count tab. If you have uploaded it one file, we'll see one line item that is 10031 here. We click on here and we'll see the list of products that are updated from the inventory count tab. To approve the entry, we select the product and click on record variance to finalize the inventory count. This way the inventory count apps can be used for a large number of SKUs at once.